And why isn't your picture on there? Because, see, if I was you, you should put your picture on the book because then guys will know, oh, well, you know, if Neil got the girls, you know, because I assume... <laughs> There we go. Now, now Jimmy's taking a shot at Neil. Cause look at him. He's like fucking skinny, dressing fucking weird. What's up, guys? John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. I wanted to do a video on Neil Strauss. Okay, the guy that wrote the book, The Game, the New York Times bestseller. It was my personal entry into the pickup community, the pickup world. And let's check in on on Neil here, on what's happened since. Okay, so I'm just gonna review. There's some there's some points made in this article here. Um, before we continue, please subscribe if you've not already new videos every day. And also if you have interest in getting very good at this game, very fast, click the link in the description, free 30 minute call with me personally. I'll go over how I can get you very, very, very good. Okay. So Neil Strauss, most famous PBA of all time. Okay. Mostly because of the best selling book he had toured around with Motley Crue. Uh, he's a journalist and he chronicled all this crazy shit that happened with Motley Crue and it turned into the Netflix documentary, the dirt. Um, the reason why I thought of this guy is someone wrote in the comments, you should make a roast video on Neil Strauss, which will, will be forthcoming. I agree. Effeminate body language, uh, frail stature, etc. Um, <laughs> quirky to the point of being a big dork. But let's let's go through here. So apparently he ran up thousands of dollars with cam girls due to an addiction. But the thing is, he, he wrote this follow on book called The Truth. It's supposed to be like the counterpoint to the book, The Game. And he was trying to, it seemed like a cognitive dissonance piece, okay? In other words, he had like sex addiction, he was in a, a sex rehab clinic and all this shit, and then he ended up trying to fully justify uh, like full-blown monogamy, okay? As we, I've said in recent videos, monogamy is only the case for 5% of mammals, and I've read in neuroscience books that there are species that have their brain wired for monogamy, homo sapiens, human beings do not. Okay, it is not the natural state. It mostly came about from uh, the church and the state trying to normalize it with with strong familial units and this and that. But he justified monogamy, and then look what we have here: a divorce. Okay, with this girl. So let's start back in the beginning here. 2005, he wrote the book The Game. Okay, there, that's when it was published. Uh, this was more of an entertaining tale. I have guys always ask me, should I read the book The Game? It's not much of a strategic manual, and a bunch of the techniques in there are, are very suboptimal to, to put it lightly okay a lot of the shit in there doesn't really work that well but it is an interesting story and it talks about his his chronicling of meeting mystery or pieces of shit like uh rsd tyler and rsd papa who went on to form the, the shit company real social dynamics and set the pickup community back 50 years okay which was even earlier than its inception but yes they did that much damage and continue to do damage on a daily basis uh, let's see. So, uh, his divorce shows it's important for men to choose carefully who they get their advice from. He was, he was claiming to be, to be the master of women and all this stuff. Um, called himself a MPUA, um, style life academy business, blah, 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 blah. So here he wrote the book, the game, a good book from a narrative standpoint. Dismissiveness and arrogance. He presented mystery and his fellow gurus as emotionally disturbed and unreliable while he stood above them. Attempted to wash his hands of the community by renouncing pickup. Um, okay. A lifetime of wishy washiness. Okay, so in 2015, he put out The Truth, uh, which was basically him trying to, to come to grips with the fact that, you know, he, he, he had gone on all these sexual exploits, ultimately it wasn't fulfilled. So he tried to justify monogamy as being the be all end all okay so journey to monogamy and family as he checks in out of sex addiction clinics passes out at orgies um yeah made a show out of killing his style persona at a mock funeral i could see myself doing this one day killing the john anthony character hopefully not if strauss had been the pick of girl he claimed to be the truth would never have been written because he'd been able to put his expertise to use in finding a good wife Blah, 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 sexual failure. Um, he chose, okay. At very least, he should be able to keep his marriage going for the sake of his child, who will now be raised in a broken home. Okay, so now he's just like everybody else. Mistakenly got married, has a child that's caught in the mix. Um, let's see. Countless men still seek him out for advice. Blah, 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 blah. 
basically he's had a he's had like a rocky road you know throughout the whole thing he, he claimed to be better than pickup artists he has a, a nice fake tan um we'll show a little a little segment there's a little segment where he's he's on a talk show and they're talking about his pickup behavior we'll show a little youtube segment of that um but yeah they're saying here in the article you need to be very ca- careful who you choose as a as a guru and avoid hero worship Neil Strauss, I've heard from countless inside sources, never really had that much game. Okay, Mystery did and still does, although it's suboptimal and he failed to evolve. But just because he wrote this fucking book and hung out with a bunch of pickup artists doesn't mean he was like some super pickup god. Okay, and a lot of his shit was fancy and gamey and gimmicky. His his behavior is very beta and weak. And I'll make all this in, in like a full blown roast <laughs> of Neil Strauss, which will be quite fun. But yeah, apparently, like, his whole career, it broke in relationships, um, it, it, wishy-washy people are unreliable. He bounces from scene to scene, has no anchor, no set beliefs, um, and flip-flopping. They talk about that throughout this article. He's, he's flip-flopped back and forth. So let's take a look at this little clip here, and then we will, we will talk about that. All right, so here we have Neil Strauss on Jimmy Kimmel, and let's hear how this goes. There. And so you get in with these guys, the pickup artists, right. and they teach you what are like, if you could give us like just a few, like the broad strokes of how this works, what are they? God, so literally. Actually, could you try it on, Jessica, would you mind? I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try. All right, first of all, Neil Strauss will never be able to pick up a girl like Jessica Alba. He's fucking, he looks like, like emo, like a misfit. And listen to the cheese that, that's about to ensue here. I on a Thank talk you. show. I didn't, I didn't learn talk show game. There we go. Cheese number one. I didn't learn talk show game. Oh, is there a different game? Yeah. That's a, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh-huh. There, there's, an, there's this idea that, you know, someone's beautiful, you got to hit on them or something. But in LA, everyone's beautiful. Everyone beautiful comes to LA to try and make it, right? So if you're beautiful, so what? You got lucky in the gene pool, right? So if I was to ask you to name three things about yourself that would make me want to get to know you better, and none of them can be about your looks or what you do, what would they be? Um. Here we go to like the stupid fucking old school gambits. This little fucking routine bullshit. I'm loyal. Right. Um, reliable. Right. And... Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I said I can't do our looks. And, uh, and hardworking. That's awesome. Maybe we can hang out. No. But see, the whole... That's awesome. And the whole, the whole thing about... That's awesome. Maybe we can hang out. See, like, the whole... Uh, we can make a whole, tons of separate videos about this. But, you know, just saying some fucking clever clever in quotes of course gambits that are like recited lines and and then expecting some big dramatic effect is fucking gay okay so let's let's hear what jimmy says there's (laughs) he had like some interesting response here so here's jimmy kimmel's response well it's good a lot of guys spend time like learning to play blackjack or something this seems a lot more fun than blackjack because what do you want the money for anyway yeah and why isn't your picture on there because see if i was you you should put your picture on the book because then guys will know oh well you know, if Neil got the girls, you know, because I assume, <laughs> I mean, I was, oh. There we go. Now, now Jimmy's taking a shot at Neil. Because look at him. He's like fucking skinny, dressing fucking weird. And a lot of these like old school game techniques are, are gamey and fancy or whatever. That's enough. I mean, I just had to fucking get a video out for the day. I thought this was a nice one. <laughs> Been distracted all fucking day. So, uh, I'll leave you with that. Full, full blown roast on Neil coming later on. Have a nice day, everyone. All right, so if you are interested in getting very good at this, sign up for a free 30 minute call with me personally. Link in the description. Uh, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And I will see you in the next video. Full blown roast of Neil Strauss coming soon. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.